What is Foxdot? Foxdot is <clears throat> a Python wrapper, we can say like that, around a, 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 a very powerful <coughs> synthesizer called Super Collider. And it's developer developed by Ryan. He's from the UK, and then I met him at PyCon CZ in 2018. I saw his talk, I got inspired by it, and then I prepared a lighting talk for EuroPython 2018, which, I, which was my first EuroPython. Um, then, so why not just go straight for Super Collider? Why do we need um, Fox Dot on top of it? Well, this is the Super Collider interface. Um, but then uh, the language is, is very verbose and too, too much information. Um, so with Fox Dot, you just, your contact to Super Collider is reduced to just Fox Dot start, and then you can jump to a, a Fox Dot with Python like syntax. This is the Fox Dot editor. And the main difference from uh, basic Python is that uh, you can see in the first line uh, the greater than, greater than, twice. Fox dot it in instantiates all players uh, at the beginning of the session. So you don't attribute to variables. They are already uh, attributed to all variables with two characters and then you just like uh, pass instructions to them with uh, this operator. So then you can give instructions to the, op uh, to the players and then it will schedule to play in the synthesizer. I can do the <clears throat> Yeah, super collider crashed. So let's go for the troubleshooting. Um, so I'm running Super Collider. And to do, you guys get visual? Yeah. Fox dot start. Mm, just check my audio preferences. Because it will try to hook up both your input and output. So I need the sound to be coming out of my HDMI. Um, let's try it like this. And uh, input my microphone, then I need to go to the MIDI devices and check if they are both in the same uh, frequency. Otherwise, um, it will not work in Super Collider. Then now with common start, uh, the server is running, and then I can, I'll just close this and open again. If I, List here, pip list. Uh, I only have Fox dot installed in my end. Running Fox dot, um, and we'll open the file. Okay. So bring it bigger. Okay. So <coughs> this is a basic sound zero. Just the same here. Now I have, uh, you can play different notes like that. This. If you use a tuple, it will make a chord. But if I try to do some math, it will break down here. But if I turn it into a pattern, then you can jump the chords. And then it has more than just uh, this instrument. You have synth devs, um, and then like I usually have this file where I have all the synth devs where I can try them and, and see like what instrument I want to use. So we can have a bass. And a player. This player, it, it doesn't accept like numbers and, and lists. It accepts a, a string and it plays samples. Let's hope not to destroy the...
Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I prepared my lightning talk for Euro Python 2018. I put my name on the list and then it gets to the time of the lightning talk, but there were just too many and I didn't get to do it. Because you just put your name on, on the list and hope that there will be enough time for you to do your lightning talk before other people do their lightning talks. So I couldn't do it at that time. And what happened was I had to wait until EuroPython 2019. So I was able in the next year to come to Brazil and at Python Brazil show Fox dot there on a lightning talk. And then I did the same in uh, PyCon CZ 2018 again. And then I was prepared for um, EuroPython. So here I'm putting some um, scale uh, defining uh, root key, some clock, uh, how fast it will go. And then I have my baseline. Okay. Then <clears throat> music is not just about sounds. So it sounds also mixed with silence. So we need to have both. So I have the durations break so it can work. Then I also have my chords here. But the same. They are not on the same amount of silence. And some, some beat just to Then this is my uh, favorite sock from PyCon CZ. <laughs> it's a Python sock. After EuroPython, uh, yeah, I was using my mask around the, the, some parties. People recognize me sometimes with that. And I got invited to, to do a talk at Py Python Pizza. And Python Pizza is a mini conference. It's like just one day, and the talks are 10 minutes long. So I had to do double the job like that time because lightning talks are five minutes so I was at Python Pizza for a 10 minutes talk. And so then this time I was like okay I'm going to do different. I, I took my ukulele with me. I was with the computer, sound coming from the computer, sound coming from the ukulele. I had the mask, um, I had the harmonica in, in the handle under the Cthulhu mask and then I was also singing and, and dancing and, and, and everything. It was quite stressing. <clears throat> uh, here I have the, the, 
the code for the Stand By Me um, song on, on Foxdot. And this last one was the, the four chord song that I did at Python Pizza, which is famous by this group, uh, The Axis of Awesome. If you put on YouTube, they will go through these four chords, but they will do like 100 different songs in the same four chords, a lo lot of uh, pop hits. And um, that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much.